Dragons, I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today's Friday, October 16th, 2020, and before we get going on our weekend flame, let's take a moment to pause, put our hand on our heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now pause for the moment of silence. Thanks, dragons, and we are ready, Flame and I, for a very exciting weekend in front of us. The sun is going to rise today at 7.20 in the morning, and it's going to set at 6.28 in the evening. And Flame was going through some old pictures of some friends that he came across, and Friday is normally reserved for different features, but yesterday we talked about Nia Olivia's book, The Survivor, so today we thought we'd do Friend of Flame, and look at this. Flame found a picture of his friend Trudy. Trudy is a cow. Look at that. There's actually a cool fact on here. It says, why do you think cows moo? Why do you think cows moo, dragons? Well, it says right here, cows moo to talk to each other and when they are hungry. Mothers and babies moo to find each other. How about that? That's kind of fun. And so we were thinking, after this picture of Trudy, one of Flame's friends, we had asked about different trivia questions that you might have with different animals. We thought it might be fun today if we asked the trivia questions first and see if you know them. Let's see if you're already an expert on cows. Okay, so check this out, dragons. This is with no information from Flame yet. Let's see if you can get the right answers. So cows. Are cows herbivores, which means they eat only plants? Are they carnivores, which means they eat only meat? Or are they omnivores, which means they eat plants and meat? What do you think? That's right. They are herbivores. And if you look closely here, look at this, dragon. This is kind of interesting. Look at Trudy's teeth. Do you notice that the teeth are only on the bottom? Right? There are no teeth on the top. Cows don't have teeth on the top. They actually use their bottom teeth to push the plants into the top levels of their teeth. I thought that was super interesting. All right. Cows. Are they... Are we least concerned with their population? Are they threatened, which means that they're losing in numbers? Or are they endangered, which means that we're worried that they might go away soon? That's right, dragons. They, we are least concerned about them. There are about 98 million cows in the United States. We have a lot of cows in the United States. All right, watch this. This is fun. Flame's favorite question. So how much food can a cow keep in their stomach? Can they keep 10 gallons worth of food? Can they keep 30 gallons worth of food? Or can they keep 50 gallons worth of food? What do you think, Flame? Should I tell them the answer? Do you think they know? If they had to guess? Dragons, can you believe they can keep 50 gallons of food in their stomach? They have a massive stomach. All right, and one more to see if you know something about cows. How long do cows sleep in a day, dragons? Do they sleep four hours a day? Do they sleep 10 hours a day? Or do they sleep 16 hours a day? Flame, do you think you know the answer? I know, they only sleep four hours a day. I thought that was super interesting. But cows, dragons, they are very friendly creatures. They love to get together. They do not like being alone. They are social. They the first cow, did you know this, dragons? The first cow came to the United States from Jamestown. We know about Jamestown, but it came in the 1600s. That's when we got our first cow. And now look at them today. There are 98 million of them across the United States. And all cows are female. How about that? All cows are actually female. We call male cows bulls, or we would call them steer. So some fun facts to get you going for the start of your weekend. Another great friend of flame. Da -da -da -da. It's time for the birthday box. Let's see here. We have, oh my gosh, flame. We don't have any birthdays today. I don't know if it's Trudy's birthday, 
but it says here that tomorrow, Drew Timbers. Drew Timbers. Happy birthday, Drew, in preschool, in Miss Lawton's class, one of our youngest dragons. Happy birthday, Drew. Outstanding. And let's check the mail real quick. We got a heavy, a heavy piece of mail here, Flame. Let's see here. Dragons, check that out. It's Llama Llama. Let's see here. Good morning, Flame. Just wanted to share with you that the Gould family has collected over 200 books to be donated and given out to students when we do curbside or give them to teachers for distribution. Jacob and Hannah Gould wanted to do a project that would help other students, and this is what they came up with. They really exemplif exemplify the other people mindset. I want to give you a special shout out and make sure that they are appreciated. Flame, thanks for letting us do this. Love, Miss Vickers. Miss Vickers wrote us a cereal box, the back of a cereal box, with a book, with a cover of a very famous book. How about that? Jacob and Hannah, thank you so much for your donations. That is our special thank you today, Flame, to Jacob and Hannah and everyone else that is donating to the better good for kids to get books in their hands. We appreciate the things that you're doing to allow us to continue reading even during these tricky times. So on behalf of Flame, on behalf of Trudy, I'm Mr. Salerno. We hope you have an awesome weekend, Dragons, and we can't wait to see you on Monday. Thanks, everyone.